channel where today I'll be doing a full phase of my favourite makeup products. So I've collected together all my favourite products. If you've watched any of my videos before, you definitely would have seen these. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of create my favourite makeup look that I do currently with all my favourite products. So we're going to start out with primer. This is a new product for me. This is an MPUA Makeup Academy Pro Base. And it is the Hydrating Hydrochloric Acid Facial Spray. And it smells like coconut, which I'm not usually a fan of, but I feel like it's quite nice for this. And what I do with it is I spray it onto my face and then I pat it in just a little bit, just to make sure I get everywhere. The next thing is eyeshadow. For eye Eyeshadow, my favourite palette is this Sample Beauty palette. These are individual pans that you pick and then you just put it into this reusable palette. Even though it doesn't look like it from the pans, my current favourite colour is this one. It's an orange. I think it's so pretty and I'm very much into a very fiery looks recently. I like reds and oranges and yellows and I've just been so drawn to this. I think it's such a cool colour. It's so bright. It's the brightest orange I own and it goes with so many of my clothes as well. I think orange is the most common colour in my wardrobe so it's just the perfect colour for me right now. I'm going to use my favourite brush to apply it as well. This is from Unicorn Cosmetics. I have a whole set of these. It's just a very dense fluffy brush. I believe it's a concealer brush but it works so well for the eyes. I'm also going to do my favourite shape for my eyeshadow. I've been very into a very big blended circle around my eyes which I also pulled down onto my eye bags. I feel like it's a very masculine way of wearing makeup. I've been trying to do things that are a little bit more masculine to me and it's really helping with my mental health so it's always good. It's also nice to have a shape that's very much meant to be messy. I don't have to worry about blending too much or getting the perfect shape. I can just put it on whenever I feel like it. it, takes so little time, and then I can be out the door and enjoy my life. Especially recently as I haven't had much motivation to do makeup, I just don't feel very creative, but I do like wearing it every day. So this way I can have some makeup on my face, but I don't feel like I'm taking far too long on it and not enjoying other things. Something I also like to do is pulling it across the bridge of my nose. I do this once all the other eyeshadow is down, so I don't add any more product to my nose, I just use what's left over on the brush. I always do my lips with the same eyeshadow I use for my eyes, so I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to do my normal shape shape which again is very blended out, very circular, kind of just a very exaggerated lip shape. The next product I'm going to go in with is eyeliner. These are my favourite eyeliners. I have loads of different colours but this one is definitely my favourite colour. This is from Super Beauty and it's a Hydra Fix eyeliner and this is in the colour Scrunchy. It is just a neon pink eyeliner. I think it's so cool and it looks so good with this eyeshadow. To apply it I use these tiny little brushes. This is a paintbrush and I don't know the brand because all the plastic that was originally covering this bit is all gone. It's been washed off over time and I can't remember where I got it either but it's just a very small little brush. You probably can get makeup brushes like this but I just have this one instead. And I've been very into just drawing the outline of shapes. I just pick a very simple recognisable shape. I've been doing a lot of clouds recently and it's weird because whenever I have a cloud on my face people constantly compliment me on my makeup when I'm out and about. I think clouds are seen as a really difficult shape to draw so they always think I'm a professional makeup artist when I have clouds on my face which is very sweet of them. It's very much a compliment that people think I'm actually good at makeup. But with the pink I definitely do more hearts. I've also been drawing more eyebrows recently, well not proper eyebrows but little tiny ones. In my mind they make my eyes look closer together which makes my nose look wider and that's what I want. <laughs> Moving on to eyelashes, I only own two mascaras and they're both years old. This mascara is five years old so I probably shouldn't be wearing it but I do really like this. I don't know what mascaras I could actually use that are new because new mascaras are always really thin and go everywhere because I'm so used to them being like this, like being a clumpy mess. I do definitely need to get one because it's probably not a good idea putting this in my eye but I do it anyway because there's so much product left in these. If anyone has any recommendations for very black, very thick mascara, please leave them down below in the comments. I really do need them. On to setting spray. This is my favourite setting spray. It is the NYX Dewy Finish 16 Hour Setting Spray. I just feel like it's a very good setting spray. It does really well on my very packed eyeshadow and I like the size. I like that it's a tiny little one. Last but definitely not least is highlighter. My favourite part of makeup. I absolutely love highlighter. I like looking very shiny. This is my favourite one, it's a Drama Queen palette from Kim Chi. And I kind of flip flop between these, I do not use any of the others in here, but this one's a little bit too dark for my skin tone, and then these ones, I'm not a really big fan of the coloured look. So I go in with these ones a lot, this one is most definitely my favourite one, I feel like it fits my skin tone really well. And I feel like it goes with any look, whereas this one I use with looks that are more blue toned, ones where I want a little bit more contrast as well, like if I have a lot of black makeup on my face, this looks really nice, but this looks better with a coloured look. And to apply this, I'm going to go in with this Angle Eyebrow Brush. This 
This is from Morphe. I got given this recently by a friend and I use it all the time if I want to draw natural eyebrows on, which I do ever so often, but not that much. It's a really good brush for that. It's very, very thin. And it's also really good for my nose highlight because I can just draw a straight line down. And then I always blend it out a little tiny bit with my finger. To do my cheek highlight, I usually use this brush. I think this is an eyeshadow brush. It's kind of a flat, fluffy brush. I feel like it's just a really good shape for doing this section. And that is it for this makeup look. I really do hope you like it. This video was really fun to make. I like using my favorite makeup products again. It makes me feel more motivated to do more makeup looks. So yeah, if you also enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. Comment what else you'd like me to do and subscribe as I post a new video every single week. I'd love to see you again. But until then, bye.